Hello and once again this is Anna from Wellness with Anna and Waddle Cafe. So this week our newsletter is about sleep. Why? Because well let's face it we all need some sleep. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time to sort of build up on build on the newsletters we've had to date. So we've spoken about mindset, we've spoken about motivation but we've also now spoken about sleep. Why? Because sleep is an essential part of life. Not only do we need it to um, rejuvenate and restore our muscles, but we also need it as a time for our conscious and subconscious mind to sort of switch um, gears. So this is a time when a lot of the memories you've created, the experiences you've had, the thoughts you've had, now start to get woven into your subconscious mind. So it's where, for example, if you keep doing the same things over and over again, you keep starting to build the habits that we've spoken about. You keep starting to create new patterns that your body will start to recall. Over time, it becomes part of your subconscious, which is stuff, it is essentially what is programmed during your sleep. So in the newsletter, we talk about REM versus non-REM sleep. And, and stages of sleep in terms of um, the lighter stage and going towards and gravitating towards the deeper stage. But above anything, it is so important to understand sleep and how important it is to you, but also understand what happens beforehand. So I'm wearing this obviously, but as much as it's fun, um, it's also a part of understanding what impacts your sleep. So all of us are different, but generally there are some rules that hold true for all of us. Things like, for example, you don't need to be in or you'd rather not be in a very well lit or very um, brightly lit room when you're sleeping. You want for the, the room to be dimly or, or dark. Um, you also want, for example, there to be quiet. So all of these things help your body really get into um, a parasympathetic or a restful state, which means that the quality of your sleep is better. So sometimes we sort of think that we need to sleep, for example, eight hours a day, seven to eight hours, and obviously that, that changes depending on your age. But it's not necessarily about the quantity, it's more about the quality. So you need to understand what you can do for your body so that you can actually have a great quality sleep and you can feel good the next day. Why? Not only do you feel good, but then it has an impact on your mood. It has an impact on your need to source energy and whether you can have energy internally or whether you need to sort of search for sugary foods, salty foods to sustain and supplement the energy that you almost feel like you've lost because you didn't have a very restful sleep. So one of the additions that we've got in this week's newsletter is we're starting to go through and actually provide some product um, comparisons. Not that these are endorsements, but they're just another way for us to support you, for you to sort of see that there are products out there, if you so choose, to help you analyze your sleep. Understand what happens while you're actually asleep and when that light turns off. So do yourself a favor, check out the, the newsletter. Let me know what works and what doesn't. Let me know the stories because ultimately we're all very different. So there are things that maybe work for you. There are things that maybe that don't connect. So welcome your feedback, but really want for you to sort of be part of this journey. And also just to understand and to share with you different tips around how you can live a better life and how it's not just about the food you eat, but your wellness is a complete package, motivation, mindset, and now sleep contribute towards. Have a wonderful week.